Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Lysol laundry sanitizer to see if it removes bacteria from my laundry. So this video is a viewer suggestion. I've had a handful of viewers suggest that I test the Lysol laundry sanitizer, including 10 Vibes 26, Connie Kershaw, Mia K, Mini Zucchini, Media Tatum, and some others. In order to test the laundry sanitizer, I'm gonna read the directions and find out how I'm supposed to use it. So, according to the directions here, there are two different ways you can use the Lysol laundry sanitizer. Now, one is to add it to the rinse cycle and leave the product in the rinse cycle for 16 minutes. Now, I don't know about you, but my washing machine does not have an option to set a soak time during the rinse function. So, if I am going to use this in my laundry rinse cycle, I'm going to have to add it during the rinse and then hit pause on my wash machine, set a timer for 16 minutes, and then let it resume. I'm really not too thrilled with having to do something like that. There is a second way though that we can test the laundry sanitizer, and that is using it as a pre-soak. So let's read those directions. Put two capfuls each filled to the line number one in a gallon of cold water. Submerge completely in soak items for 15 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with clean water or machine wash as directed. So I'm gonna test it as a pre-soak. So in order to test this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Petri dishes, okay, and some sterile swabs. I'm gonna take some white cleaning cloths. These are just cotton, 100% cotton cloths. They're not microfiber, just 100% cotton. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these cloths and wipe various areas around my home. The kitchen counter, kitchen sink, bathroom sink, the toilet rim. The goal is to get bacteria on this part of the cloth. Then what I'll do is I'll take some sterile swabs and petri dishes and I'll swab the cloths and put it on the petri dish to make sure that I do have bacteria on the cloth. Then what I will do is I'll soak them in the bucket with cold water and the Lysol laundry sanitizer. After the 15 minutes of being in the bucket, I will put them in my washing machine. My washing machine does have a rinse and spin cycle, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm just gonna use the water, rinse and spin. When that's done, I will take another sterile swab and another petri dish, swab it again, and we'll see how much bacteria goes from before washing till after washing. Then I'll put the cloths in the dryer, and when they come out of the dryer, I'll swab them again to see how much bacteria is on them after the dryer. So let's see how well the Lysol laundry sanitizer removes bacteria from my cleaning cloths.
Now for some results. First, let's look at how much bacteria I was able to get on the cloths. The kitchen counter. Well, we can see we have a little bit of bacteria there. There's some bacteria, not a huge amount, but we definitely have some bacteria on that kitchen counter cloth. The kitchen sink. So we can see there's a lot of bacteria on the kitchen sink cleaning cloth. This is good, so we'll be able to see a difference between before washing and after. The bathroom sink. Again, on the cleaning cloth, there's a lot of bacteria on there, which is great. In the toilet rim, there is a ton of bacteria on that cleaning cloth. So that's fantastic. Now let's look at the results after the pre-soak and rinsing. The kitchen counter. There are three very tiny bacterial colonies on this dish. It might be a little bit difficult to see, but there are just three on the kitchen counter cloth side. The kitchen sink. There are four very tiny uh, bacterial colonies on the dish. So when you look at them side by side, we can definitely see a significant decrease in bacteria from right when we wipe those cloths to get bacteria on them in after the pre-soak with the Lysol laundry sanitizer. If you like seeing Petri dish results, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. The bathroom sink. There are no bacterial colonies on the side with the bathroom sink. In the toilet rim also, there are no bacterial colonies at all on this Petri dish. So looking at them side by side, we can see a significant decrease in bacteria from before pre-soaking to after pre-soaking. So the Lysol laundry sanitizer did an excellent job at removing bacteria from my cleaning cloths. Let's move on till after the cloths were dried in my dryer. The kitchen counter and the kitchen sink both had no bacterial growth at all on the cloths after coming out of the dryer. The bathroom sink also had no bacteria in the sample that I took after coming out of the dryer. However, the toilet rim did have two very small bacterial colonies on it. So there's a couple reasons why we could see bacteria on the cloth after drying but not after the pre-soak. It could be that I just didn't swab in that exact spot after the pre-soak, or it could have gotten some bacteria on it from the dryer itself. Overall, I think these results are absolutely fantastic. You can see a significant decrease in bacteria from using the Lysol laundry sanitizer as a pre-soak. After seeing these results of the pre-soak, I decided to run this test again. I did the exact same thing I did before. I got bacteria on the cloths. I swabbed the cloths to see how much bacteria was on each cloth from the kitchen counter, kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. But what I did differently was that I put them in my washing machine with no detergent, but I did put the Lysol laundry sanitizer in the fabric softener uh, slot in my washing machine. And I just let my washing machine wash on the towel setting. I did make a note that my rinse cycle was about nine minutes. Um, the direction for the Lysol sanitizer says that you're supposed to have it for 16 minutes on your rinse cycle. But since I didn't want to hit pause on it, time it for 16 minutes, and then let it go again, I just wanted to see how it would do in my rinse cycle, not pausing it, just seeing how it goes. So let's see how well the Lysol laundry sanitizer removes bacteria from the cloths in just my regular towel setting with no detergent in not the 16 minute sit time in the rinse cycle. Now for some results. So the kitchen counter. So here we can see I have some bacteria on that cleaning cloth, so that's good. And the kitchen sink also has some bacteria on the cleaning cloth. The bathroom sink has some bacteria on the cloth, which is great. And the toilet rim has a tremendous, there's a ton of bacteria on that toilet rim cloth. Then I put these cloths in my wash machine on the towel setting with no detergent, but the Lysol laundry sanitizer in the fabric softener dispenser. The kitchen counter. There's no bacterial growth detected at all on that cloth. In the kitchen sink, again, there's no bacterial growth at all detected on that kitchen cloth. So that's fantastic. So there was a significant decrease in bacteria from before washing till after washing. The bathroom sink, again, there's no bacterial growth at all on that cloth. In the toilet rim, no bacterial growth at all on that cloth. 
So that shows that there is a significant decrease in bacteria used in the Lysol laundry sanitizer in the fabric softener dispenser, not counting 16 minute wait time and with no detergent. Then I swabbed the cloths after coming out of the dryer. The kitchen counter had zero bacterial growth on it after the dryer. The kitchen sink did have five small bacterial colonies on it. Again, that could be because I didn't swab the exact spot on the kitchen sink cloth after coming out of the wash, or it could have been something that it got in my dryer. The bathroom sink had one bacterial colony after coming out of my dryer, and the toilet rim had three bacterial colonies coming out of my dryer. Overall, I am extremely impressed with the Lysol laundry sanitizer. It was able to remove bacteria from my cleaning cloths when I used it as the pre-soak and follow the directions. Pre-soak a 15 minute and then rinsing. It also removed a significant amount of bacteria when I just put it in the fabric softener slot with no detergent and I didn't follow the 16 minute wait time. For those wondering what the Lysol laundry sanitizer smells like, the scent I got was crisp linen scent. And you know what? It reminds me of, um, it's hard to explain. It does smell very perfumey, but it reminded me of a hotel. There is a hotel that I went to and I cannot remember which one it was. When I walked by their laundry room, this is legit what it smelled like. So as soon as I opened this, I was like, oh, oh, that smells like, and I couldn't think of which hotel it was, but it reminded me instantly of walking by that hotel laundry room. So it does have a strongish perfumey scent um, when you smell it right out of the bottle. And when I put it in the gallon bucket, it definitely did have a, um, a strong scent, but once everything was rinsed, I didn't smell it at all. The scent most certainly does not linger. From the results in my home, the Lysol laundry sanitizer does an amazing job of removing bacteria from cleaning cloths. I think it's something that I will most certainly add to my laundry when I want to make sure bacteria is removed from it. If you're interested in seeing how other laundry products work, I do have a playlist of all my laundry tests and I'll link that in the description below. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. My list is very long, but I really like seeing what my viewers would like to see. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. I also have an Amazon wish list, and that is also in the description below. Just do me a favor. If you do mail me something, send me an email. That is in the description below also, so that I know it is from you. I hope you enjoyed seeing how well the Lysol laundry sanitizer works. Take care. Have yourselves a great day. <music>